Hi, I'm Drew Bolt, and this is Terry Wright. We're with PCS, and we're here today to introduce our brand new 3DSO plunger arrival sensor. Let's face it, the plunger arrival sensors on the market today are mediocre at best. They're susceptible to false arrivals from lightning, communications equipment, pipeline uh, cathodic changes, and such. The 3DSO is the first plunger arrival sensor to have an onboard microprocessor. Terry, tell me why that's important. Sure. Most of the sensors in the market today actually look at the plunger in one axis. We're actually looking at it in three axes. So we actually look at this in three dimensions. And the reason we do so is because the magnetic field may lay in any axis on the plunger, not necessarily end to end. So it could lay like this, it could lay like this, and also it could be in any orientation as the plunger comes to the top. We do extensive quality control on every unit before it leaves the factory. Each unit gets a 25-point, three-axis electronic test. It gets tested for functionality, and all the information is stored electronically inside the unit itself. One of the limiting factors of current technology that's out on the field today to detect plungers is that it's very dependent upon the speed of the plunger itself. The new 3D SO sensor from PCS can actually detect the plunger at any speed, even if it's stopped in front of the sensor itself. So our objective was to make the uh, long-lasting durable unit and we started with a very heavy-duty aluminum housing. It actually uh, won't flex like other sensors when you strap it to the lubricator which can cause problems with the circuit board. We have two models. Uh, they both have a half-inch MPT. One comes with wire and a liquid tight strain relief and the other one is conduit ready. The electronics are completely potted to protect from moisture and uh, you want to talk a little bit about the, the sure. electrical requirements? The uh, operating voltage is 6 to 36 volts DC and it's rated for negative 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius and it's also designed to meet class 1, div 1, and div 2, group C and D. So Terry, this is the first plunger arrival sensor to have a microprocessor. Why is that important? Well the reason it's important is we use the internal processor to uh, run algorithms that help eliminate false triggering out in the field. We also use the internal processor to do calibration. As long as the unit is powered up, it continuously calibrates. Wow, so self-calibration really means that the pumper never has to adjust this thing. That's correct. There are no adjustments on the EMT-3DSO. So I want to talk a little bit about how to mount the 3DSO sensor. The technology is a little bit different because it's not a passive coil system. The ideal place to mount the new 3DSO is where the plunger rests during the afterflow period. In this case, on a double flow lubricator, it's right above the bottom outlet. This is where the plunger is going to hover during the afterflow of the well. For more information about our 3DSO, visit PCSLift.com or call our local sales and service representatives.